This is fascinating. So what would the United States look like if everyone could live where they could make the best wages? Because apparently more than half the U.S. is not living where they should be. So I'm reading the story in The Atlantic, and it's titled, The U.S. Needs More Housing Than Almost Anyone Can Imagine. And it talks about how we've been in a housing production slump for 40 years and how we need 3.8 million homes in the United States before we start seeing housing costs come down. That's mind-blowing. Some places are still adding 20 jobs for every one new housing unit. That's not sustainable. So they talk about this paper in 2019 that studied that if Americans could find housing and move to the places where they could make the most wages and housing supply and housing permitting would follow along with that, then 53% of Americans would be living not where they currently live. These economists in their studies modeled that if San Francisco, San Jose, and New York all allowed housing like Chicago and Atlanta do, San Francisco would be about five times as dense as it is today. So around 4 million people instead of 800,000 people, about 2 million units of housing instead of 400,000 units of housing. And the same goes with the whole Bay Area. And New York would be about eight times as dense as it is today. And the average city would be about 80% less populated. That's just wild. And Americans just on average would be making about $3,600 more per year because of that increased density, about $2 trillion more in our economy if we just built our cities better. I mean, for me, this is just more proof that our current housing policies have created this housing crisis, are hurting the economy, and contributing to climate change by encouraging more inefficient sprawl. Removing restrictions in our cities to allow for more dense housing is how we fix this. People can prosper better, and we can save the environment by allowing for housing where people really want to live.